Hello viewers, I once again welcome you to Elimu TV, which is your station where you watch and experience. I'm your tutor, Mr. Mangi Francis, and today I'm taking you through chemistry form one, where we are going to look at sources of heat in the laboratory. We have introduced ourselves to the different types of apparatus used in the laboratory, and we have narrowed down to sources of heat in the laboratory. So do pay attention as we continue with the lesson. So what are the goals of this lesson? By the end of this lesson, uh, you'll be able to state the various sources of heat in the laboratory. You'll also be able to identify and state the functions of the different parts of the Bunsen burner, and you'll be able to distinguish between the two types of frames produced by the Bunsen burner. So what are the sources of heat in the laboratory? They are various, depending with what you want to heat, and this what you are heating we have the one the first one we we can use an electrical heater we can as well as use a gas stove and we can use a bunsen burner being the main source of heat in the laboratory uh, we they come in different uh, ways we have the portable one and we have the one on your screen which is fixed on the uh, laboratory the portable one can be used to heat where you press it in your desirable position for heating. So the Bunsen burner being the main source of heat in the laboratory, we need to understand how it looks like. Uh, on our screen there, we have the Bunsen burner itself. And we start from the base down there, which provides the support. We also have the rubber tubing, which connects the laboratory gas uh, source to the uh, Bunsen burner. We have the collar, which regulates the amount of air getting into the chimney. And within the collar, you can see that we have an air hole. The air hole simply allows air into the chimney. We have the jet, uh, which now allows laboratory gas into the uh, chimney. We also have the frame up there. And the jet is almost in the same place with, uh, it is just above or in the same position with the air hole that is to allow the mixture of air to burn so that we can have a frame which is a mixture of burning gases so since now we have how we, we know how a Bunsen burner looks like can we be able to use it in the laboratory so can we be able to uh, use or see different types of frame, uh, frames in the following illustration a quick visit to the laboratory we have the Bunsen burner with the air hole open. So by writing uh, the match stick, uh, we allow laboratory gas into the frame, uh, that is into the chimney, and there we have uh, an aluminous frame, a very hot frame, since the air hole was open. So which is the hottest part of this frame, since it has different parts? the outermost part of the frame, the brew zone, writes the matchstick instantly once it comes into contact. So what happens when we regulate the amount of air into the chimney using the color? The color of the frame changes. That is from blue to yellow. Thus giving us a luminous frame producing right as you can see so this frame has also different zones and let's start from the innermost part of this frame and see the match stick takes time compared to it takes time to light compared to the non-luminous frame if we position the match stick horizontally uh, this will give us different areas where we can be able to observe how it burns. As you can see, the outer part of the frame burns the matchstick, but the inner part of the frame does not burn the matchstick. So that tells us that this frame has different zones. So which are the zones of these different types of frames? We can uh, look at uh, the quick check first of the chimney allow the gas laboratory gas into the chimney we also have the collar 
which regulate the amount of air that gets into the chimney. We have the air hole, which allows air into the chimney. We also have the jet, which allows laboratory gas into the chimney, thus giving us a mixture of burning gases, a frame. Then we have the base, which is basically to provide support to the Bunsen burner. And lastly, we have labor tubing, which connects the source of gas uh, in the laboratory to the burner. So the types of frames produced, as we have seen from the quick check visit to the laboratory, we have uh, the luminous frame and the non-luminous frame. The luminous frame has four zones. Uh, the four zones are the thin outer layer, which is blue in color. We have uh, that layer being almost invisible because there is complete combustion of uh, laboratory gas in that zone. We have the yellow zone where we have uh, partially burnt carbon particles which are growing, therefore giving us the yellow color. We have the almost colorless zone which contains almost and burnt gases, and that's why from the previous demonstration, the inner part of the matchstick didn't burn at all. And we have the blue zone, where laboratory gas immediately comes into contact with air, and therefore it burns completely, giving us a very hot part of this frame, which is blue in color. What about the non-luminous frame, a very hot type of frame? It has got three zones. We have the blue zone, we have the green blue zone in the middle part, and we have the almost colorless zone down there. So these two frames can be used uh, in different uh, ways. The luminous frame being a bright yellow, it's used for writing, while the non-luminous frame, very hot frame, is used for heating in the laboratory. Now, let's have a test to see whether we can be able to uh, at least test ourselves to see whether we have what it takes to tackle questions that we may be required to answer with reference to the Bunsen burner. So, number one, can we be able to list down the different types of frames produced by the Bunsen burner? And number two, what are the main sources of heat in the laboratory? Can we be able to name them? Do we have to know all the parts of the frame, yes. And because we can be tested to name different parts, can we name the parts on our diagram there? That is uh, part labeled T and part labeled U. You can get this more of a concept in the book that is uh, we use as our reference for this illustration. And you can as well as uh, visit more lessons on, uh, you can send us an SMS through the number on your screen, uh, visit us on YouTube, or you can give us a tweet and Facebook page, all of them at Erimu TV, uh, Twitter, Erimu TV underscore KE. I've been your tutor, Mr. Mangi Francis, and I appreciate you paying attention. So let's meet in the next lesson and keep revising.